hello and welcome to next selenium tutorial so today we are going to learn how to do mouse over on any web application right so before to that let's understand what is mouse over right? there's a two different functionality so let's not confuse that so there is a web element so on particular web element we can do any user interactions that we do like click send keys or some of the operations like selecting the uh, drop down values or something like we can highlight it or we can mouse over on some any web element that which appears on the web application right so in such uh, one of the user interaction is mouse over right so for any particular web element uh, so we will be having some of the one or the other way the interactions will be there right so but the mouse over functionality will be exceptional in any web application right so not all the web elements will be having mouse or functionality what will happen sometimes right so one web element will be having the two different user interactions so like if same element we can click on that some functionality will happen but if you do mouse over on that particular same web element some other functionality will be there right so these are the two different interactions that user can perform so we sh we should clearly define the test cases when we are going for any automation or manual testing right so the first test case will be like when user is clicking on that particular web element what will happen what is the next step that user has to expect so on the second manual test case what you can write so when user is doing mouse over on that particular web element so what will happen the what is the next user interaction will be so like so if you take an example of this amazon uh, dot in so over here you can see multiple web elements you can see right so if you mouse over on this so we cannot uh, having any uh, user actions having so you have to click on this particular web element to uh, do any next further actions from the user right so if you go mouse over on some other web element so like uh, you can see over here right arrow marks so if you mouse over on this you can see some other some small pop-up is coming so this is what mouse over we can it is meaning right same way if we mouse over on something else some other web element we can see some other pop-up is coming so if you mouse over on this some other pop-up is coming so this is the user interaction that we are talking about so this is a one interaction right so mouse over on this you will see some actions that user can perform like they can change the language right so the same way if you see over here uh, mouse hovering on this sign in uh, text so we can see some other actions are coming up so user can uh, choose to do any actions that is displayed over here right so in the same way if you click on this it will navigate to your login page so this is the second action that user can perform right the first action will be mouse over something will appear the same web element if you click on this something else will happen right so these are the two different use cases that we have to test so manually we can do like just mouse over and select anything whatever it is there and we can click on this and we can verify manually right and if you take if you go to other website like Ethra also you can see multiple web elements are there so say for example this is the Ethra so if you click on this something will happen something like this it will happen clicking on anything right so these are the multiple uh, web elements if you click on this something will happen but there is no further action user can do than this particular web element if you select flights you can do any operations on some other web element not the same web elements you cannot do mouse or you cannot uh, do select or highlight something like that right so, but if you go for some other web element like this so if you mouse over on this plus more you can see multiple options right so that trains creates adventures like this you can see the same way if you uh, do mouse over on this my account you can see some other uh, pop-up is coming up right so you, you can uh, notice that uh, mouse icon it is still mouse cursor is not changing the image but if you go for this support you can see the mouse uh, cursor says image is changing from normal cursor to uh, fair hands cursor so which means it has two different actions the one is mouse over it, it, it appears some pop-up and if you click on this you can see some other uh, user actions user can do some other uh, sequence sub actions right so these are the two different uh, uh, actions that user can perform and as a tester we have to verify all these functionalities 
we should not miss any action that end user is going to do right and if you take your flip card also you can see over here multiple web elements are there if you do mouse over on any uh, elements right you can see the options are getting changed but if you click on the same web element it, nothing will happen this is single functionality user has user is forced to select any of the options from the this pop-up right so it is like that it will change for each menu items right so if you mouse around electronics something like mobiles mobile accessories laptop smart smart wearable tech like this it is open but if you mouse around tvs and appliances some other options are coming and displaying so which means user is forced to select from the pop-up itself not from if you, you cannot click on this electronics or something tv appliance or other menu items so here the ui is designed in such a way that user is forced to select from the mouse or mouse or operations right same over here also so but if you click on this login uh, mouse or on this some other options are coming but if you click on this something will happen so these are two different actions that user can perform but other other menu items will not be like that it's just single operations mouse or and select but here mouse or something will happen click something will happen so this is the two different actions that user can perform right so it is normally uh, for any web element so if you click on this we know how can we perform uh, this in selenium web driver so normally you can find an element and you can just normally use click method it will uh, do whatever you are expecting but how can we do our mouse over operations using selenium so just mouse over and do select the options from this right so this is uh, something like some advanced operations that uh, selenium handles we cannot normally do click operations or there is no method that selenium provides just move to element or mouse over or something like that there is no method such methods directly that selenium provides right so today let us uh, see how can we automate this uh, amazon dot in right so let us automate this uh, hello dot uh, hello sign in accounts and let us click on create a wish list right when you click on this creative wish list uh, it comes over here right so let us uh, see this how can we perform this the first will be like mouse over on this the second action will be user has to select create a wish list this is a two different operation that we are going to perform right so using selenium so today we are going to see this how we are going to do right uh, so let us take this amazon dot in and I have already created a class with mouseover.java and I am taking a chrome driver and maximizing the same chrome driver to the full to maximize to windows and I have given the implicitly wait for 10 seconds right so what next action is going to be we have to launch the amazon.in so let us launch this and once the moment it is launching uh, we have to uh, do mouse over on this so let us try something uh, let's take the export of this uh, it is anchor tag and it has also login yeah. so let us check directly this one uh, span hello signing so if you do mouse over on any uh, text tape which is displaying in your website it is pointing to uh, it is giving the option for mouse or operations so let us take this uh, with span element text I should not give uh, at the rate text is equal to in single quotes give so it has only one element it is pointing exactly the same so let us take this so what we can do let us do driver dot find element by export so you can give any other locators also if you have any unique ideas because export takes some little long time compared to other uh, locators let us save this in web element so that we can refer in the future so this will return web element uh, so we'll save it in this so now we found the exactly the web element to mouse over on this 
uh, web element right uh, so what we should do now that's the step, first step will be we have to do mouse over so selenium will not support directly do uh, to do any mouse over so if you see over here we cannot find anything mouse over or move to element or anything like that so what we should do over here right so we have to use uh, actions class uh, which selenium provides so this is the actions class uh, that we should use from interactions uh, class which extends actions class right so we should use this actions class and then we have to do mouse over on that so new actions class so for actions class we should uh, pass a driver instance right now we have this is the driver instance we should pass over to the actions class so that it will handle the web elements right so now what we have done so we have uh, declared a variable uh, to actions class so using this actions class reference variable we have to uh, do mouse over so here also we don't have any uh, mouse over functionality directly so what we should do we have to use uh, move to element uh, method right so this what this will exactly do right uh, moves to the uh, most move moves the mouse to middle of the element the element is scrolled into view and its location is calculated using the get client types so this will move the cursor into your web element what I, exactly you, you have find into the middle of the web element so that is what this is going to do so let us take this move to element method and so we have to pass what is the web element that we are targeting so we have this web element that which we have already found so now what we have to do we have to do perform so here we are using perform directly because there is no sequence of actions that we are going we are doing over here so if you are doing more uh, move to uh, element and click on this particular web element like that if you are doing then we have to build that particular actions using actions class then you have to do perform so here we are we have only one actions that user is going to do that is move to element so we are directly doing the perform action so it will it will do good so let us wait for some time so to, to see how uh, the mouse move mouse uh, hover will happen right and then what we we have to do so once the mouse hover is done we have to take this particular web uh, we have to click on this creative wish list like that sorry uh, link so it's an anchor tag but it is inside a span element so we can use this and it, it will click on that right so let us take this and let us find that let us uh, find by dot export what I wanted to do on this link is I want to click so here also let us wait for some more time right so finally what will happen driver will be closed so these are two different uh, actions that user can perform so first one will be like move to element using your actions class it will perform and then it will click on this create a wishlist link right let us try running this amazon and so do not move your mouse when it is running because it will change uh, your user actions so now it is done move mouse over and it is clicked on that link create a wishlist link right so this is how we can do our mouse over uh, functionality so it is very easy and simple to do if you know how we can do advanced uh, user interactions using selenium so what are the advanced user actions like uh, scrolling or move to element or drag and drop something these kind of operations comes then we have to use your actions class then we, we can do the 
user actions that what we wanted to do so in the same way for mouse over we have done move to element method and we can perform the actions what we wanted to do from there we can take uh, continue our operations like what we wanted to do like a click or other operations right so what are we have seen over here other operations like or clicking and create a wish list so here you can see multiple test cases we can write whether all these particular web elements are loading or this in the right tab your list or your ideal is or these are displaying or something like that we can verify so all those continues with the different test cases but mouse over and clicking on this particular links are separate test cases and clicking on the link itself it's a separate test case right so this is how we can uh, do and manage your test cases using manual verification as well as the automation use cases and when it comes to automation we should know exactly how to simulate user manual actions into your scripts so this is one of the advanced user interactions that most of that we have done right so that's all from this video guys so if you love watching my video please like my video and share it with your friends to learn and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel right thanks for watching guys